reggae music only really sounds right when it's recorded in Jamaica. Kingston's full of little studios in almost every side street. This is where the music happens. Like Scratch's home, which is also his studio. Feeling fresh, feeling good, feeling out of the way my knees are still there. Sing till the rain, maka maka high. Junior Mervyn, Upsetters and the Heptones all rehearse here. Scratch's real name is Lee Perry. He regards all the greats, including Bob Marley. Even Paul McCartney is coming here from England because Scratch has a sound and a rhythm of his own. He calls it rockers. When Scratch begins a session, first he balances drum and bass for the basic rhythm. Ghetto music, always drum and bass. Then Scratch will balance all the other instruments till he's ready to start recording. When the balance is right, the upsetters lay down the rhythm track. That's how reggae is recorded. Let's go. One, two, a one, two, three, four. Though there seems to be no kind of order or discipline, Scratch knows exactly what he wants, and the musicians respect that. the people's standards, the instruments may sound distorted, the balance way off. But it's just these rough edges that give reggae the kind of raw sound they can never copy abroad. When Scratch is happy with the rhythm, he'll get Junior Mervyn and the Heptones to put the vocals on. Rhythm and then lyrics. That's how Scratch describes reggae. Rhythm from the yeah. ghetto, lyrics from the streets. Yes, Rasta. <laughs> Play on, Mr. Music. Play on. Won't you? Play on, Mr. Music. Play on. Say the chalice is burning, the jammers are rolling.
Reggae music is much more than just entertainment in Jamaica today. It's a powerful social force that mirrors the pressures of everyday life, putting them into words and rhythm, describing, revealing, persuading. Everyone